all right let's go ahead and get started with fashion mnist data set we need to download this data set so that we can get started with our machine learning model building there are two ways to download this data but before that let's see the details of this data so you need to click on the given link where uh, you will be uh, taken to a fashion mnist data otherwise you can just search fashion mnist on google in fact there are many ways to get this fashion mnist data it's open source data you can search it on google you will get it on github you will get it on kaggle on you will get it on tensorflow data set or open ml or anywhere else wherever it is hosted so it is available almost everywhere then this fashion mnist data have here uh, a lot of the description about its data this data has total 10 classes there are 10000 examples which is used as a test set 60000 examples are used as here a train set so these you can see all these are uh, fashion mnist data these image size are 28 cross 28 if you multiply those it becomes total 784 pixels here here is just an example this author has shown here an example of the clustering if you make it into a three dimensional data you cluster it you would be probably seeing something like this you just scroll it down you will be seeing a little uh, you will be seeing here a little more detail about the data and then it says that how you can get the data so these are the classes which are uh, available with the fashion image data it is t-shirt top trouser pullover dress coat sandal shirt sneaker bag and ankle boot so that's what we had seen here all these 10 classes are here so these 10 classes we need to also make sure that it is available while training the model all right other way to get our data is open ml so we will be using here open ml api so this is open ml api uh, and this data is hosted at OpenML. OpenML is, uh, uh, is a site where you can find out at least 5000 data set in a current date and every day more data set is getting added at OpenML. So it's a complete a list of the data set. We will be downloading our data from the OpenML. It's pretty much simple. We will use scikit-learn library to get it uh, through the OpenML. Again, you will get the same kind of uh, uh, description for the data set on OpenML as well. These are the 10 classes which we will be using to train our model. And this says that total C185 features. In that one feature is class feature and other features are input feature which are C184 features there. There are total 70,000 instances. In that 60,000 instances we can use for training and rest 10,000 instances we can use for testing all right let's go ahead and uh, move ahead and see how you can install openml so to install openml it's pretty much simple you need to write here pip install openml all right so we have successfully installed here openml and these are the classes which we will be using we have here t-shirt trouser pullover dress coat sandal shirt sneaker bag and ankle boot you can see this is in same sequence what we see here so the zero number in the target class says that it is t-shirt top one number says that it is trouser two pullover three dress four coat five sandal six six shirt and seven sneaker eight bag and nine ankle boot there all right let's go ahead and just ignore that part here and then i'm gonna just read here our data by typing here some code so it's pretty much simple you can simply import all the necessary libraries and then you can read the data so i write here from open ml dot data sets import in fact i don't need open ml i'm directly gonna use scikit learn library so from sklearn dot data sets import fetch underscore open ml so this is this is a function or method provided by scikit-learn library package where we define our data set id so you see a data set id is this one we can define data set id and it will just download the data okay thereafter i import here 
I'm just gonna import matplotlib matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. Thereafter, I import here pandas as pd. Then I import here numpy as np. All right, these are the necessary libraries here. And once matplotlib, this should be all right. All the necessary libraries are imported here. Once you have got all the necessary library, you are ready to read the data. So I write here mnist fashion mnist equal to fetch underscore open ml and then I need to tell either name or ID of the data. Alright, so here you see a name, it is asking about a name or a data ID. So whatever you you have, I'm just gonna give give here a data ID. So I give here. I'm sorry, it seems like I just copied something. Okay, so I give here a data ID equal to. I'm just gonna get here a data ID. Otherwise, you can just give here a name as well. It doesn't matter. Whatever you give here. So I give here a data ID four zero nine 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 six. Then. I say here cache is equal to a uh, cache is true. That means if data is downloaded, then do not download it on multiple run. All right, so it's a downloading data. It's a huge data. It will take a while to download uh, this data. Once data is downloaded, then you can print out your data keys by simply typing fashion mnist and here keys. All right, let's go ahead and run this part as well so that we can get keys as well. So data download has been done successfully. You can see the keys of your data. You have here a data target frame, categories, feature maps, feature names, all these things are here. All right, so we have successfully downloaded our data. For the analysis, we will continue in next lesson. I'll see you then.